The 28th Annual Conference of Lawyers to the Koponik School of Natural Law was held on its traditional dates, from December 13 to 17, 2015, with the standing topic, Justice and Law, and the general annual topic, Law and Individual Autonomy. The workflow was developed based on the already established hexagon of the Koponik School of Natural Law in the following six departments, right to life, right to freedom, right to property, right to intellectual creation, right to justice, and right to a state ruled by law. Since 2005, the Koponik School of Natural Law is under the patronage of UNESCO due to the special interest that UNESCO has in the projects and publications of the Koponik School as they undeniably contribute to the development of human rights and to the strengthening of common law in full compliance with the current process of human rights reform as stipulated by the United Nations. According to the UNESCO greeting message, these human rights conferences, organized over the last two decades, have increasing importance as international conventions. UNESCO highly values the fact that the participants of this conference are going to ponder the transition from the rule of law to the rule of culture, where universal respect of human rights and basic freedoms, peace and mutual understanding, would form the foundation for coexistence in multicultural societies. The goal is to combat the largest threats to human rights. Poverty, discrimination, gender inequality, climate changes and terrorism. In this sense, UNESCO considers the Koponik School of Natural Law its naturally ally in their joint efforts to develop the principles of honoring human rights and human dignity. UNESCO expressed great respect for the founder and the president of the Koponik School of Natural Law, Professor Dr. Slobodan Perovic, for his tireless commitment to the organization of this conference, along with wishes for a successful conference governed by noble strivings to provide dignity and justice for all. Over the 28 years of gathering jurists from different European and non-European legal and language domains, the Koponik School of Natural Law continues with the affirmation of the idea of natural law, the universal values of human rights, built on the foundation of centuries of philosophy about law and justice, expressed today as modern human rights, codices built in the documents of the United Nations and other peaceful international organizations. This year, the Koponik School reiterated the assessment that there is a wide rift between proclaimed human rights and their implementation, and that such a rift can be reduced or bridged only with the qualities of the rule of law, democratic culture and tolerance as expressions of a spiritual freedom and the culture of reason. In this respect, the modern world manifests huge differences in various domains of organized life, depending on the level of general culture in a particular community and its overall identity. The 28th meeting of the Koponik School of Natural Law received 350 written reports by local and international authors and published 197. All reports are classified in accordance with the hexagon of the Koponik School in six departments and 23 sections. The total of published reports consists of four tomes with 2,900 pages of printed material. As the previous ones, the 28th meeting of the Koponik School of Natural Law was attended by about 2,000 participants, jurists from various universities, academies, scientific institutions, courts, the bar and other judicial organizations, administrative bodies and public services, economic associations, bank and insurance organizations, as well as other social institutions. More than 60 distinguished jurists participated in the work of the school, international theorists and professionals, as authors of published reports or as immediate participants in the work of individual departments and sections. 
The international participants came from Austria, Germany, France, Italy, Russia, Switzerland, Great Britain, Belarus, Turkey, Croatia, Slovenia, Macedonia, Republic of Srpska, Bosnia and Herzegovina, and Montenegro. The activities developed in plenary sessions and specialized working groups within departments in accordance with the program developed in accordance with the hexagon of the Koponic School of Natural Law. The atmosphere in working groups and other forms of activities was scientific, professional and collegial. The work of the school was also covered by the media. At the first and at the final plenary session, the Koponic School of Natural Law received expressions of scientific honor, recognition and faith in its comprehensive mission in the modern judiciary from numerous participants, international and local judicial and legal science authorities. At the first plenary session of the Koponic School, after the welcoming messages from local and international participants, the founder of the Koponic School of Natural Law, academician Professor Dr. Slobodan Perović, held a spoken introduction to the principal report on the topic Natural Law and Individual Autonomy, in which he first addressed the philosophical interpretation of this principle and then the spatial generality of uh, natural law, as well as the issue of harmonization and the right to difference. The introductory paper specially presented a draft civil code of the Republic of Serbia, which is on a one-year public debate and whose realization is accompanied by assessments and suggestions of the Koponic School, which are published in the final documents of the school in the last few years. At the final plenary session on December 16, 2015, a decision has been adopted that this introduction should be an integral part of the final document of the 28th meeting of the Koponic School of Natural Law and should be published as such. Continuing the tradition of the Koponic School of Natural Law to present the results of the departments and their sections to the general public in a synthesized manner, at the final plenary sessions, all editors presented their basic assessments, proposals and suggestions in forms of messages, which were adopted and published in their entirety as integral parts of the final document for the purpose of informing the general public. The 28th conference was closed with well-founded expectations that the next 29th conference in December 2016 shall be organized in the scientific and organizational continuity with the previous ones.